The excitement must be real that you're back in Atlanta. Yes, yes. I'm so excited. The newest member of the Atlanta Dream can finally say they're home. AD is from Douglasville, so when they were traded to the Dream, it was quite literally a dream come true. My grandpa, he's been sick, so um, when I was in New York, he wasn't able to come to like the first 10, 10 to 12 games. Um, so now that I'm here, he gets to finally come. AD was drafted second overall by the New York Liberty in the 2019 WNBA draft. They haven't played as much as they would have liked. An injury sidelined AD in year one, then came coronavirus. I was getting worse, worse. I was vomiting, I couldn't keep anything down. I lost 32 pounds like in a month. In June 2020, AD tested positive for COVID-19. Because of COVID-19, really had to learn how to walk again. They never knew its side effects would keep them off the court for two seasons. Did you ever think you might not be able to play basketball ever again? As much as I didn't want to believe it, yes. I was in denial big time. I'm like, I'm going to be fine, but I felt so sick, I thought I was going to die. AD says they were in a dark place for a while, but something truly positive happened during their time away from basketball. So I started therapy a few months ago, like last fall, and she started asking me questions about who I am. And I always knew, like ever since I was a kid, I never like people calling me, hey girl, or lady, or anything like that. Baby girl, I just, it just never felt right towards me. AD doesn't consider themselves a specific gender, so they simply go by AD, especially with people they don't know. But with people they trust, it's a little different. With my close friends, my guy friends, we call each other brothers. I'm comfortable with that, that's who I am. I completely understand when I get on the basketball court, I'm playing with women. Um, but when I'm with my guy friends, they call me he, him, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, my fiance calls me he, him, sometimes she says they, them. But when it comes to basketball, it's either AD or they, them. And that's what, you know, feels natural for me. AD is the only player in the WNBA listed with they, them pronouns. Their new team doesn't mind it at all. Where we are in, in society, like, you know, you, you have to be open, you have to be patient, but you have to be respectful. And I think we're looking to be inclusive in everything that we do. And so um, it's unique, but I think we're up for the challenge. You know, they ask questions. They already told me, hey, I don't mean any harm if I slip up and say, something wrong. I couldn't have asked for, you know, better teammates. They're, they're really great people. Emily Gagnon, CBS 46 Sports.